But this guy said, I'll move in with him. And that night, we heard screams and all kinds of things going on the next day. But they let us out for breakfast. <coughs> the guy that moved in there, he comes out. The other guy doesn't. By the time we get back from Chow, there's all kinds of COs there, medicals there. I don't ever slow up. No, I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness. If you want to play tough and want to hate this, I'll always show up and make a statement. I've been asked this question a couple of times. So prison cells safe? Jail cells, whatever you want to call them. I'm going to have to say no. Yeah, unlike a dorm, you're not dealing with a whole bunch of people. You're dealing with just one. You're silly. Like in Potosi, they have the capital punishment out in population. And my first cell when I got in population after I did the nine months in the hole was somebody that was a CP. You know, one or two, well, I was wondering anyway. Wolfie, you know, he knows they're going to do away with him. So, Wolfie wakes up one morning in a bad mood, decides to take out as many as he can. Who's the first person he sees is me. Now, that's just one example. There's other examples too. Your celly may get tired. Even if you've known him for a long time, you guys just might get tired of one another and fight. I, I've had fights with cellies like that. Put us on lockdown. We're in, cramped in there together for weeks, maybe months. We just get tired of hearing one another. I got in a few fights like that. But one I haven't was Kevin. I told you about him. He and I, we just clicked. And that's the type of cell you want to look for, but you're not always going to get that. In 29 years, I've had many different cells. I can't even count them. And I've had problems with them. A lot of times we just talk it out and one of us leaves. But there's been, I know one case where a guy gets in a fight with the guy in the cell. I don't think it was his cell. I think it's the guy went in there and they fought and the guy banged his head against the bunk. He, he was done. He was out. And this guy, he catches the body. Anything can happen in the cell. And when you're fighting in the cell, it's easy to get cornered. Now that can work in your advantage if you're the one that gets the other guy cornered, or it can work against you if you're the one that's hemmed up in a corner, you know, between the toilet and the wall or something, you know, or a bunk in a wall, you know, it's, it's bad. Now people, <coughs> most people that have been down a long time, and uh, I say most, not all, but most, if they're not getting along with their cellie, they'll tell them, hey man, this ain't working out, we're going to have to switch us. At least in Missouri, I don't know about other prisons, they let you switch out. You got to fill out what they call a room move pass. Everybody involved has got to sign it. That means you, if you're wanting to move out, you, your cellie, the guy in the other cell that's moving over to there, he's got to sign it. The guy you're moving in with has got to sign. Now, sometimes caseworkers will just do it. You know, if they're, if they're trying to avoid a problem, they'll just they'll go ahead and move it. And people think, well, I can be safe in the hole and or PC. That's not the case. A lot of prisons in Missouri you don't have PC, and they'll just send you to another prison and put you out in the yard. That's the way they do it. So you wanna you wanna try to get somebody that you can at least halfway get along with. You know. It's not always gonna work out, but you gotta try. You know, when you get out of the hole, they're gonna put you in the first empty cell. When you get when you're an R and O first getting there, they're gonna put you in an empty cell. From then on, I think you gotta wait three months if you don't like your cell you that you can get a cell move. But I've seen bad things happen. I, I remember one guy, I think I told the story, pretty sure I did, 
I tell stories on so many different platforms, I forget if I told it on here or not. This guy gets out of the hole, they put him in the cell with the guy. This guy had bad charges, so he's trying to find somebody to move in with, but he couldn't because that means that person's cell, he's going to have to move in with that guy. And he, no, nobody wanted to do that. Finally, one guy says, I'll move in with him. And we're all just kind of amazed by that, you know? And because uh, we're telling the guy, man, just run him out of the cell. Tell him to go through the hole or something. But he was just trying to switch cells. But this guy said, I'll move in with him. And that night, we heard screams and all kinds of things going on the next day. But they let us out for breakfast. <coughs> the guy that moved in there, he comes out. The other guy doesn't. By the time we get back from Chow, there's all kinds of COs there, medicals there, all kinds of things. Now, he didn't take the guy out, but I bet you the guy was wishing he had him. Now, I don't really... You know, the guy was a, a sicko that had that done to him. But to me, the person who done it to him is no better. You know? But that, that's neither here or there. I'm, I'm just telling this story to say that anything can happen in a cell. Anything. You know? You may get into it with somebody in a cell, fighting, hit your head on the bunk like one guy did, and it's all over. Or you may hit be fighting somebody and he hit his head or bang his head or whatever and and he's done. But that means you're done too. Or you could be sleeping in your cell and your cell you take you out. That's happened before too. So I don't know where people are getting the idea that prison cells, jail cells are, are safe. I didn't have no problems in the county jail I was in because it was a small jail. Rolla, Missouri, you know, it's a college town, but it's small, small town. The only reason it was as big as it was, was because of the college town, you know, because of the college students, and the, the school and stuff. So, I didn't have no problems in there, you know, in fact, I knew a lot of the people, but there's a lot of city jails that are just as big or bigger than prisons. You know, got just as many people. So you got to keep these things in mind, man. Just when, when you get a celly, I hope nobody goes to prison. But if you get a celly, just and, and you get comfortable with him, you know, you guys get along, that's good. But just keep it in the back of your mind that anything could happen at any time. And that's about all I got for you. Hit that subscribe if you're new here and you like this content. I got a lot more content, prison content. Like and share. Tell me your thoughts. I'll see you next time.